Ladies and gentlemen, student athletes, parents and staff, welcome to the Bangkok Prep Secondary Sports Awards 2023. To start the evening off, I'd like to welcome Mr. Michael McFarlane to the stage, please, as well as our sports prefects, Cameron, Alex and Aya. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, supportive parents, talented students, and phenomenal colleagues, welcome to this momentous occasion, the Bangkok Prep Sport Awards 2023. Tonight, we gather here to celebrate not just achievements on the field or court, but also the remarkable journey that sport has taken us on, shaping us into the individuals that we are today. Sport is more than just a game. It is a vehicle for growth, a catalyst for self-discovery, and an avenue for exploring the depths of our potential. It teaches us valuable lessons about dedication, perseverance, teamwork, and the pursuit of excellence. In the realm of sports, we discover our own inner strength, resilience, and determination that transcends far beyond the boundaries of the playing field. As we engage in the pursuit of physical performance, we simultaneously embark on a journey of self-leadership and personal development. The challenges we face in sports not only test our physical capabilities, but also our mental fortitude, emotional intelligence, and character. Each victory, each defeat, and every obstacle encountered helps us to grow not only as athletes, but as holistic individuals, contributing positively as a world to global citizens. It is through sports that we learn to channel our passion into action, to push ourselves beyond our limits, and to overcome the barriers that stand in our way. The journey of an athlete is not an easy one, but it is a rewarding one. It demands dedication, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment. But it is on this path that we discover the true power that lies within us. As Michael Jordan once famously said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. These words encapsulate the essence of sports reminding us that failure is not an obstacle, but an opportunity to grow. It is through setbacks that we discover our true potential and find the strength to rise even higher. To our esteemed guests, we are honored by your presence here tonight. Your unwavering support in the development of the program has been instrumental in fueling the dreams and aspirations of our young athletes. Your belief in their abilities has created a foundation upon which they can build their further successes. Thank you for standing beside them and for recognizing the power of sport in shaping young lives. To the supportive parents, we extend our heartfelt gratitude. You have been the pillars of strength, sacrificing time and resources to ensure that your children have the opportunity to pursue their sporting passions. Your commitment and love have played a vital role in their journey, providing them with the encouragement they need to face with challenges. You have shown them the power of unconditional support, and for that, we are truly grateful. Outstanding teachers and coaches play a, pl a pivotal role in the development of athletes, fostering their growth and helping them realize their full potential. These mentors possess a unique ability to shape and influence young minds instilling in them the values of discipline, perseverance, and dedication. Through their guidance, athletes are provided with a strong scaffolding of knowledge, skills, and strategies, enabling them to excel in their chosen sports. These exceptional individuals go beyond teaching the technical aspects of the game. They offer personalized support tailored to the individual needs of each athlete. They recognize that success is not only measured by athletic achievements, 
but also by the holistic growth and happiness of their students. By fostering an environment that values personal growth, mental well-being and character development, outstanding teachers and coaches empower athletes to become well-rounded individuals who not only excel in their sport, but thrive in all aspects of life. Their influence extends far beyond the field, leaving an indelible mark on the lives of those they mentor, shaping their futures and inspiring them to become the best version of themselves. At Bangkok Prep, we are lucky to have the very best. And to our talented students, tonight is your night to shine. Each one of you has dedicated countless hours to honing your skills, pushing beyond limits and reaching new heights. Your commitment to excellence and your determination have not only brought you here tonight, but have also set an example for others to follow. You have embraced the values of discipline and teamwork, understanding that success is not just me measured by victories, but by the lessons learned along the way. I stand here proud of the commitment we have made as a community to drive inclusive participation, clear pathways and performance opportunities. I would like to recognize our under 19 students who are in attendance. Please stand up. Don't be shy, under 19s. These students have represented Bangkok Prep at the pinnacle of their school sport journey. Please, can we give them a round of applause? Thank you, under 19s. I would also like to recognize our sport captains who are in attendance. Please stand up. These students have been role models and set expectations for behaviors within their teams and who have grown as leaders across the different age groups and sports this year. Please, can we give them a round of applause? Thank you, captains. And finally, I would like to recognize our sport prefects stood here behind me who actively pursue continuous development for our school in the eyes of the students. Please, can we give them a round of applause? I wish you all an enjoyable evening of celebration and invite our sports prefects forward. Good evening and welcome to this prestigious sports awards ceremony. We, the sport prefects of Bangkok Prep, are honored to stand before you tonight as we celebrate the incredible accomplishments and contributions of our student athletes. Sports hold a special place in our heart and in the fabric of our school community. They are not just activities we engage in, they are pathways that lead us to personal growth, friendship and lasting connections. Sport has an unparalleled ability to bring people together, exceeding barriers of age, background, and culture. It unites us in a common pursuit of excellence, fostering a sense of belonging and shared purpose. Through sports, we build bridges of friendship, understanding, and mutual respect that extend far beyond the playing field. Tonight, as we honor our exceptional athletes, we also recognize the significance of awards. They are not just tokens of achievement. They hold profound meaning, and they symbolize the dedication, relentless effort, and countless hours of practice that our student athletes have invested in their chosen sports. They serve as a testament to the sacrifices made, the obstacles overcome, and the heights reached. As sports prefects, we have been privileged to witness the transformative power of sports within our school. This year, we took the time to organize a Friday night live game where our varsity basketball team competed against St. Andrews. Working alongside the art prefects, we created captivating posters, designed tickets, and organized live performances during half times. Through this event, we not only showcased the Bangkok Prep community spirit, but also demonstrated the immense capacity of our school community to come together for a greater cause. Together, we raised 7,000 baht to donate to charity. This event was just the beginning, as we are committed to organize more events just like these in the near future. Fostering a spirit of inclusivity, enthusiasm, 
and community engagement. Furthermore, we are taking strides to enhance physical education at Bangkok Prep. By collaborating closely with PE teachers, we are tailoring mandatory PE lessons to diverse interests and abilities of all students. Our aim is to create an environment where every student can actively participate in physical activities and enjoy. Nurturing their talents, promoting well-being, and embedding a lifelong love of sports. In addition, I would like to mention the three principles that our very own department highly values. The three Ps is what I like to call them. <sighs> Performance, participation, and pathways. These principles are what make our school successful when it comes to developing our full potential. I mean, look at the diversity in this room. Ranging from basketball to football to volleyball, badminton, swimming, and much, much more. What makes our sporting environment unique is that we have incredible staff that allows us not only to participate, but to perform to the best of our ability. And this would most indefinitely not be possible if it wasn't for the main man, Mr. McFarlane. The sporting, this sporting year has been a testament to the dedication, perseverance, and growth of each and every athlete in our school. We are immensely proud of the progress we have witnessed both individually and as a collective. We have seen athletes conquer personal best, team triumph against fierce competitors, and individual demonstrate honorable speed, uh, sportsmanship. But beyond the trophies and victories, it is, a, is it, it is the personal development, resi resilience, and character development that truly define this year's sporting journey. We have seen athletes overcome challenges, displaying this determination, and inspiring us all with their unfavoring spirit. Th this, the lesson learned on the field extend far beyond the boundaries of sport. They shape us as an individuals and equip us with skills for, all, for success in all aspects of life. As sport prefects, we are privileged to witness the tremendous growth and accomplishments of our fellow student athletes. We are proud of each and every one of you, not only for your achievements, but also for the way you have represented our school with pride, integrity, and passion. On behalf of the students, we would like to extend a heartfelt thank you for, to all the coaches, teachers, parents, and in particular, Mr. McFarlane, for the key role in shaping us into individuals we have become today. Their relentless support and guidance have been influential in nurturing our growth and providing us with abundant knowledge and countless opportunities. So, thank you very much. And now it's time to formally start with giving out some of our awards. So we have a fantastic evening ahead of us where we'll all recognise the marvellous achievements across all of our sports, genders and ages. The first half of our evening will recognise achievements in our team sports before we enjoy our dinner. We will then continue with our individual sports before a break with our dessert followed by our Sports Person of the Year Award, which you guys have actually voted for live this evening, so thank you. In the breaks, we are incredibly lucky to have our student athletes performing, and this showcases that our students shine outside of sport and in lots of other areas as well. Please do listen, enjoy, and show your appreciation. The head coach will summarize the year in their sport, finishing by inviting all coaches of that sport to the stage before we announce the award winners. Please save your applause until all our award winners have been announced and they are on their way to the stage. The award winners will come onto the stage, to the right of me, accept their award with a handshake and stay on the stage until all award winners have their trophies. This is your chance as an audience to celebrate with an extremely loud round of applause, lots of smiling faces, and we'll also take some photos before they exit the stage. 
to the left. Our awards this evening for the most improved player and coaches player have been chosen by all the staff members involved with the coaching team and they have used the criteria that you can currently see on the screen. Our first spot of the night is basketball and I'd like to invite Coach Andy to the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, athletes and fans. So I must say this year was great to get back to a normal system, um, kind of getting back in the flow of things and the competitions. Um, I told myself coming into this year that I didn't really want to focus too much on the competition of things, of winning, of the results side of things. Um, I, my focus going into this year was actually, oh, I, I figured after all the lockdowns, we'd have to do a little bit of rebuild process. I was quite surprised when they finally gave me a list, and I saw the list of athletes that I had for my first session. I was stupefied, to say the least, right? Uh, over 55, and we kept having requests to get more and more and more. So that kind of told me that, okay, maybe growth isn't the part we need to work on, but getting everyone involved, um, which was great, because this allowed us to actually have multiple teams, which is something in my six years at Bangkok Prep, we have actually never, ever been able to do for, for basketball. So the growth, to see that growth right in the first year back in normality, so to speak, was really, really a great testament to how the sports program has grown, even during our rough times. The sports still has continued to grow, in it, and we're still seeing a, to see a very positive, positive outlook. With things getting back to normal, it was really good to see all the competitions come back. Um, from all ages, U13 up to U19, we were able to compete in BISA uh, tournaments, friendlies, um, and as well as invitationals at Shrewsbury, St. Andrews, um, even going to NIST uh, and playing. One of the things that I thought was really cool this year is that we were actually a part of several different conferences. Uh, one conference had a, a BISA, which was U13, and then we were also part of BMAC, uh, which allowed us to put in U12s. So it was nice to actually isolate isolate some of the kids to play in leagues that they wouldn't normally get a chance to play in age groups that they wouldn't normally get a chance to play in. Um, so that was actually really, really a positive front to start going with this year. With this year. Um, as with the par participation, when, when we have so many players coming in, it's actually really good because then we can actually start finding pathways for our higher level players and providing them more outlets to a train and develop and and basically focus and get better at their sport. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy seeing is how the PE, the PE really puts in to, helps us find players and then you know, pushes them to try to join with us. And then from that, we're able to get players into more, more serious, more developed uh, programs. Uh, one of the things I, I wanna highlight is actually our U19 group, and even our U15, really. Um, we just started the last year getting into strength and conditioning. And this year, the boys and the girls really took off with it. And I think that is really one of the reasons why that at the U19 level, a lot of the athletes, not just in basketball, but across the board, our athletes started performing more and really starting to look like real athletes as well. Okay. Um, so one of the things that I will talk about for the U13 boys, right? They started off very, very strong this year, um, winning their first three games, then having a little bit of a lull but again, finishing, finishing strong at the end, finishing second. Our U15s did the same. Our U15 boys were able to come in uh, fairly strong start, and then at the end of the year also be able to finish second in BISA, having good performances there. Um, the U13 girls, um, you know, they, they showed real patience and asses this year. They were probably, uh, the best way to put it, they got the short end of the stick a little bit. Um, having so many kids, we only had three coaches this year, so sometimes they were not able to fully get the, the attention they needed from me. But they still came, they still were very competitive, they 
got much better throughout the year. And one of the things that even though the team itself did not have a lot of positive results, um, the team individually, we had several players from that U13 girls group actually move up to play varsity, U19. So that is pretty crazy when you think about it, when you have 12, 12, 13 year olds who are actually playing at the U19 level. Um, and that again is, is really something that's amazing for this group of people. Okay. Um, the U19, so this is, this is obviously our elite level, and they, this is what all the U13s and U15s are essentially working towards. Uh, for the boys, we started slow, let's, let's be honest. We kind of started slow this year. Part of it was just getting back together, trying to work things out. As they got together, the second half of the year was much, much stronger. Uh, so strong, in fact, that we eventually came, came out and won BISA. We placed third, I think, in BMAC. And then when we went to TSAC, we ended up getting second, um, which we lost in an overtime uh, final by one point, apparently. So that was a tough loss. But the path they took through the year is what really inspired me. They started slow. There was a, a lot of kids, guys. We have a lot of kids. It's the first time we ever had a first and second team. And we have a lot of new faces, um, which is great. So there was a lot, of, a lot of, how do I say, getting used to the chemistry for a lot of these kids. And, it took a while, but eventually they got it together, and at the end of the year, they did well. All right, and that's one good thing for, for the boys. And actually, next year, we lose two, two three, three seniors this year, right? Three-year 13s. But the next year's, next year's groups of kids, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to. They're going to be a really good, talented group next year. Um, the U19 girls. Wow. Well, there's really not much I can say that, about them. They are absolutely amazing. Um, I think for the last two or three years, they have just absolutely killed it. Um, this year, I think, they, I think they lost the whole two games this year, two or three games this year. Um, they've won BISA, they won TSAC, they placed third in BMAC, and I think they should have won that, but that's okay. And they won every invitational tournament they went to. Um, so this is going to be a team that's actually going to be very hard to replace because a lot of the members of, this U of the U19 girls team are actually year 13s. So I'm losing a lot of them. So I'm... Hopefully, all our young girls coming up will be able to step up and fill in their shoes, okay? Um, I would like to invite now our amazing coach, Anthony, who has delivered an amazing program for uh, not just the U19, U15, and U13, but also at the primary um, to help give our awards to our winners this year. I would also briefly like to ask Ian and Filippo to come up here, okay? So I'm, ask, I'm changing the script a little bit. I'm asking these two guys to come up here because, um, as I said, we ended up having a lot of kids in the U13, U15 level, a lot of players, and we had multiple teams. And the reality is sometimes we would have four games going on one day, and there was only three of us. So these two guys, Ian and Filippo, all right, definitely show the Bangkok Prep values here in their community of service. They would take out their time of their day to come and help us not just in practices, but in game days. Ian here even came once dressed in a full suit like he was an NBA coach, right? So he, he, these two guys helped us through the year coaching and really teaching the game to our younger, younger generation. So I really want to give a huge appreciation to them. Okay, so we're going to start by um, handing out some awards. So, under 19 boys, most improved player of the year, Ramis. <laughs> under 19 girls, most improved player of the year, Grace. <laughs> under 19 boys, coaches player of the year, Aaron. <laughs> under 19 girls, coaches player of the year, Charlotte Christian.
So whilst we're having the photo done, we will move on to the under-15 boys most improved player of the year. And that is JR. <laughs> under-15 girls most improved player of the year. Ina. Um, under-15 boys coach player of the year. Klong. Under-15 girls coaches player of the year. Ava. And moving on to the under 13 boys. So, under 13 boys most improved player of the year, Javi. Under 13 girls most improved player of the year, Elena. Under 13 boys coaches player of the year, Vittorio. Under 13 Girls Coaches Player of the Year, Namwa. And thank you to basketball. Our next sport that we're going to celebrate this evening is going to be football. And I'd like to invite Coach Kuhn to the stage. Everyone, uh, so first one, I believe, like you guys haven't seen me in this form of suit before. <laughs> so normally you guys see me in like PE kit with my, with my favorite hat on the football pitch at school. So please listen carefully because you're not going to see me like this often. <laughs> uh, football, this year we have, like it's one, another fantastic year. We have so many new faces who joined the team and we had an opportunity to play in uh, event like Pool Get 7S for Bisea and another many fixtures. It's what a great pleasure seeing you all improve and have fun when you guys play in football and represent the Bulldogs in the positive way. Uh, I know this year we have a mix of results with a lot of feelings like we win, we lose, we happy, we disappoint. We sad, we get tired, and this all we have been through together this year. But for me, I think it, it doesn't matter. But if you all can use this experience and encourage yourself and improve yourself in the, in, in the better way and improve yourself to be even better, uh, I think you all are the winner. Um, before we're going to announce the sport award, uh, I would like to say it's what a tough decision for all the coaches here because football is a team sport and everyone is part of the team. And 
it took us a while to choose the right person because we can only choose two persons for each team. Uh, these two would represent all of your great effort and determination. Not only the good footballer, but the good person as well. Uh, next year, we will be moving on to the new football format. So please be ready. Under, you, under, under 13, we will play seven aside. Sorry, it's the same. Under 15, we will play nine aside. Under 19, we will play 11 aside. So please stay active and stay fit because when we come back from the summer, I've, we might or maybe we join the Phuket again this year on November. So please, please be ready, stay active. And also, Coach Tao, some of you might know, he's leaving us this end of this month. So after this, if you see him, see him around, just go catch up with him, feel free to say bye, and thank for him to working hard for the past few, few years. For year 13, most of you on this side, uh, I wish you all good luck in the future, and the rest of you, I will see you back in August again. Finally, before I invite all the coaches up here, I would like to say a big well done to all the players who represent the school in such a positive way. Thanks to all the coaches for giving up your time to, kick it to did an amazing job. And thanks to all the parents who's here and who's not here for be the person who support behind the scenes. Thanks to the schools and other staff, even they're not here also, to providing the facility for us and get everything like setting up the football pitch equipment already. So thank you for them. Now I think it's time to invite all the coaches who have delivered an amazing provision to our students this year to present the award for their age group. Thank you. So we're going to start off with our awards as our coaches come up. I'm going to start with the under-19 boys, most improved player of the year, and that is Nicholas. <laughs> under-19 girls, most improved player of the year, Francis. <laughs> under-19 boys, coaches, player of the year, Taz. <laughs> under-19 girls, coaches, player of the year, Charlotte Christian. And moving on to boys, under 15, most improved player of the year, Leo. Under 15, girls, most improved player of the year, Jennifer. Under 15, boys, coaches, player of the year, Klong. Under 15, girls, coaches, player of the year, Ava. And we move on to our under 13 category for boys most improved player of the year, Trevor. Under 13 girls most improved player of the year, Maya. Under 13 boys coaches player of the year, Takiru. Under 13 girls coaches player of the year, Elena.
And well done to all our football winners. Moving on to our next sport, which is rugby. And I'd like to invite Mr. Michael McFarlane to the stage, please. Rugby has continued to develop this academic year at Bangkok Prep. We've, uh, we've been able to field a team in the following categories of under 13s, under 15s and under 19s. All of the teams have been extremely competitive in all of their fixtures and have really started to play some excellent, excellent rugby. There have been many standout performances throughout the season and there have been many individuals who have stepped up and demonstrated some excellent leadership skills. Students have dedicated themselves to training and this passion has transferred into the matches where the students and the coaches have really seen the magic take place. I would like to thank all of the parents for believing and supporting the coaches in the further development of contact rugby. I know for some this was a worry but for those of you that watched our last game you can see they will not break. <laughs> Next season promises to be an amazing one once again and one where we really need to watch these teams grow to greater heights. Without further ado, please can I invite Coach Patsaya and Mr Fiddler alongside me to the stage to assist in presenting the awards. And starting with under 19, Boys Most Improved Player of the Year, Tanme. Under-19 Boys Coaches Player of the Year, Alex. And moving on to under 15s, Boys Most Improved Player of the Year, Dylan. Under 15 Boys Coaches Player of the Year, Ali. And moving on to under 13s, Boys Most Improved Player of the Year, Oscar. And under 13, Boys Coaches Player of the Year, Vittorio. Our next sport that we're going to go to has shown extremely huge growth in the past few years, but especially this year, amongst our girls. And this is Touch Rugby, and I'd like to invite, invite Coach Batsaya to the stage.
Okay, hi everyone. This is the first time for me. It's from at least to become here. It's really like nervous, but okay. I start from uh, contact rugby, but it's the first time for me to tease or touch rugby. I really feel right, uh, like I still nervous, but I still excited to change the sport. But about touch rugby and rugby is not different. And for me, for the girls, they impress me a lot to to change from a player become a coach. The first time for me, they, they says me coach. I feel like, wow, I can be a coach, not just a lead player, you know? Okay. Okay, Touch Rugby has been a lot of uh, development and goal this year. We have seen skill develop and demonstrate in a mass across the academic years. The girls team have developed a growth mindset and one that I never gave up and continue to learning. The team has developed into a good friends on and off the field. This one is really important to me for a team sport, you know, like we play like we friends. That's why when we play team sport, if you want to connect easily, we can be friends in and off of the field. And for me, absolutely, they play amazing rugby, passing skill or everything has been a lot of develop from a uh, Coaching point of view, we're so proud and we really, like see them development. It's not just about winning, and but about learning. And our students have been developed, uh, demonstrated in this evidence. We look forward to see the goal continue and the team that we have developed further in the excellent sport women and well-rounded athlete. This easy air has since number and getting stronger. Each week, and this one is like they become training and they will enjoy training and they can show for performance. Uh, for my side, I'm an athlete. I can feel see for the women and other girls, they're very really tough, they fighter. And for me, rugby or maybe touch rugby is not a like dangerous sport, but it means you can be tough for girls and tough for women. And uh, thank you for this opportunity for for this one to give me to tease and to coaching because uh, for me, if I never try, I never know like I can show no, I can try and share the knowledge what I can learn to the student. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Okay, so under 19 girls, most improved player of the year. Human. Under 19 girls, coaches player of the year, Charlotte Stonehouse. And moving on to under 15 girls, most improved player of the year, Kaimuk. Under 15 girls, coaches player of the year, Jennifer. And moving on to our under 13 girls touch rugby category. The most improved player of the year, Gwyn. Under 13 girls coaches player of the year, Elena. And moving on to a hugely popular sport amongst our students and across our school throughout the year groups, and that's going to be volleyball. I'd like to invite Mrs. Amy Burke to the stage, please.
Good evening, everybody. What an incredible year for volleyball at Bangkok Prep. The number of students participating in the sport can, has continued to grow, and we are now seeing the benefits of that dedication. Volleyball is a sport that demands teamwork, communication, and trust. It teaches us to work together and the importance of relying on others' strengths. Our players have shown these qualities throughout the season. But the thing that I have loved most is watching the players from different age groups interact with each other, giving positive feedback and offering to help coach or score. The friendships you have formed on the bus and the conversations after the fixtures are the perks of being part of a team. And hopefully you have created unforgettable memories this year on and off the court. Here are some of the highlights. Under 19 boys. Your third place finish at Fabicia was an incredible achievement. That final game was very tense. It was incredible how hard you all fought as a team to get that trophy. Watching all of the 19 players celebrate together was a personal highlight of mine. Under 19 girls. The development from last season and the way you've played against Shrewsbury at Fabicia was incredible to watch. The way you've developed as players and grown into friends was wonderful to witness this season. And Jemmy, your serves will be missed. Under 15 girls, your, dedicating tra your dedication to training and resilience shown from a very new team was rewarded with a second place finish at the BISA end of year tournament. The improvements from last year are starting to show and it's great to see that you're starting to add more hits. Under 15 boys, you have so much potential in the squad and the improvements for next year are phenomenal. You are very talented and your teamwork has made Coach Anne very proud. Under 13 boys, it was great to see so many new players join this year, and we really do look forward to seeing that growth continue next year. Under 13 girls, the teamwork on the court, the positive energy, and the love for the sport has helped you all develop this year. Congratulations on winning the BISA tournament. To our world winners, congratulations. Your outstanding performances and dedication have not gone unnoticed. Remember, this, is, this award is not just a testament of your skill, but it's also your testament as a team player a role model, and a person. To our graduating players, Jemmy, Francis, and Annie, thank you for your time, effort, enthusiasm, and leadership. It's been a pleasure to see you improve and develop on the court. Thank you for helping take a bunch of volleyball players and creating a squad. That's what it means to play sports, to be a teammate, and to be a member of Bangkok Prep community. Finally, I would like to invite the excellent coaches who have delivered an amazing provision up to the stage. So starting off the under 19 category, the most improved boys player of the year, Sora. The under 19 girls most improved player of the year, Bianca. Under 19 boys coaches player of the year, Paul. Under 19 girls coaches player of the year, Fresh. Moving on to the under 15 category. So the boys most improved player of the year, Asmat. Under 15 girls most improved player of the year, Snow. Under 15 boys coaches player of the year, Minso. Under 15 girls coaches player of the year, Gwen. And moving on to the under 13 category, the boys most improved player of the year, Num. Under 13, girls most improved player of the year, Jenny. Under 13, boys coaches player of the year, Oscar. 
Under 13, Girls Coaches Player of the Year, Soda. And moving on to a, an, another sport that's growing and developing. It's a bit of a recur recurring trend this evening. The sports are growing, they're developing, they're getting bigger. And this one is netball. So I'd like to invite Mrs. Genevieve Arl to the stage, please. Okay, um, I'd like to say a big thank you to all the netballers. Um, netball is my favourite sport by far. It is um, something that I've grown up playing a lot in Australia and it's something that when I came here isn't, wasn't really played a lot in the schools and it is so good to see it being played a lot more in a lot more schools which is giving us some good competition. Um, it's been wonderful to have the opportunity to coach the varsity under 15 and under 13 girls this year in blocks one and four. In my role in school, um, I don't get the opportunity um, to work with students as much as many of my academic colleagues. So it's therefore this coaching role has been even more special to me. I've met a wonderful group of students um, who have made the session so enjoyable. Um, it's great for me to get into my sports kit at the end of the day and my trainers and go out to the, um, to the sport, um, sports um, hall. Um, our varsity team in Block 1 were able to play matches against St Andrews, 71, Denla, Shrewsbury and Brighton and even had a match against the staff team, which of course we won, but it was very competitive and friendly. Um, at the Visa tournament, the varsity girls came second place and we'll be looking forward to go one better next year. The season felt too short, and I wish we had more time to further develop skills and more match play. However, within the restraints, it was a great season, which is very promising for next year. The numbers for the under 13s and under 15s in block four were so encouraging to see. We had over 30 girls come along, and there were quite a few who had never played before. Um, so there was lots of learning to be done, a lot of the basics that we were teaching them and they were just so enthusiastic that my under 13s, I loved the squealing, the excitement and everything that went with it. It was very hard sometimes to control their enthusiasm but it's certainly something I don't want to dampen. Um, with the under 13s, we were able to enter two under 13 teams and one under 15 team in, Bisa, in the BISA tournament. And both teams came a very respectable second. And I can't wait to continue growing their interest and enthusiasm for netball next year. Next year, I'm looking forward to offering more coaching sessions to further develop the, our young netballers and hopefully lifting a trophy or two along the way. Coach Anne has helped with our under 13s and under 15s netball sessions this season and I couldn't have done it without her. I'd like to welcome her to the stage and to help um, give the awards for our award winning netballers. So, under 19 category four, girls most improve netball of the year, Preem. Under 19 girls, coaches player of the year, Holly.
And moving on to our under 15 girls most improved player of the year, Ava. And under 15 girls coaches player of the year, Ashika. And the under 13 girls most improved player of the year, Arabella. And the under 13 girls coaches player of the year, Mia. So what an incredible start to our awards this evening. So many of our student athletes have been recognized within their outstanding Bulldog teams. However, the room is full of athletes at the moment and like all good athletes, we need to ensure that our nutrition is taken care of, which leads us to our dinner. And I'm pointing to the left and the right because that's where you'll be able to access a buffet dinner and you'll be able to bring it to your table and enjoy your food. But whilst you're enjoying this, thank you so much for being a great audience so far this evening. Please enjoy the student-led entertainment, which promises to be a real treat. And we'll see you in 30 minutes for the second half of our performance. Thank you very much. So we are another subculture, so we're gonna entertain you guys for today. So hope you guys enjoy.
before we get to the next songs, I have some jokes <laughs> to say. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so sorry if it's not that funny. <laughs> okay. Um, what do the prison guard and basketball guard have in common? What? Because they were supposed to protect you. <laughs> It's not a walk in the park. 
when she was all alone And so would I swear I said for a minute
I hope you guys enjoy, but we will come back at dessert time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you students, thank you parents, and thank you staff. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed our dinner and the student athlete, athlete musicians. Can we please have a round of applause for our very talented students? Okay, we've spoken a lot about um, failures, about success, about how failures lead to growth. Um, and it's important to always identify our failures and act upon it. And one of those tonight was a misgiving of an award. Um, so to make it right immediately as we can possible, can I invite Coach Andy up to the stage? And I would like to invite him to the stage to collect his under 13 basketball award. There we go, him. You even get your own clap all to yourself. Well, let's give it up for him. Well done. Okay, we begin our individual sports awards with Aquatics, who have had a phenomenal season in the water, on the bike, and on the road. I would like to invite Coach Arm to the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy your food. Today, I stand before you filled with immense joy and pride as we gather to celebrate the outstanding achievement of incredible aquatic program. This year has been nothing short of extraordinary, with our swimmer performing remarkable well at the BISA, BMAC, and we are top three for this year swimming event. <laughs> Together, we have accomplished not only our set goal, but have exceeded expectation in every aspect. At the beginning of the year, we set three targets that seem ambitious, but with unwavering dedication and hard work. We have triumphed in all three areas. Our first objective was to have a program that consists of 50 secondary swimmers consistently through the years. I am thrilled to announce that we have not only met but surpassed this target, a testament to the enthusiasm and passion for swimming within our school community. 
Our second goal was to transfer 10% from the Diamond Squad to the Development Squad. I am delighted to inform you that we have successfully achieved the milestone providing clear pathway for our talented our swimmer to progress and reach their full potential. Lastly, we aim 50% of the national squad to qualify for the Thai National Championship. I am incredibly proud to announce that we have accomplished this goal as well. Our swimmer has showcased their skills and determination, pushing themselves to new heights and earning their well-deserved spot in the nationals. Behind this remarkable achievement lies a dedicated team. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every member of our swim team, both the swimmer and their parents. Your unwavering support, commitment, and belief in our program have been instrumental in our success. The countless hours of training, the sacrifice, and the determination to give you all in every race have shaped us into the formidable teams we are today. I would like to acknowledge the invaluable support we have received from our PE and sports staff. Your trial at force supporting in organizing and running four exceptional showcase swim events this year have truly put Bangkok Prep in the brightest of the year. Your hard work behind the scene has allowed our swimmer to shine and has showcased incredible talents and dedication within our school. Water polo. So our water polo lead by Coach Oat. So water polo has gone from strength to strength. And the number has been amazing. We start with 13, now we are reaching 50 in our water polo teams. As a leading school in water polo in Bangkok, we have host numerous fixtures at under 13, under 15, and under 90 level. Not only does, but it gives balance to our aquatic programs, but it has brought even more students to come to the pool. Our triathlon program, lead by Coach Gab. <laughs> We, we are lucky, we are lucky that we can pull him out from the Thai national teams. So Coach Gab has excelled with our student athletes, enjoying individual programs as they prepare for a range of events. The profile of Tyson continues to grow and the success of our students in the water and on the road and on the track. Continue attract more to the program. And I would like to announce this year, we have two Thai national qualifier, Poom and Click. Can you please stand up? So both of them are qualified to Asian Youth Triathlon Championship in Hong Kong. Together, we have created a legacy of success, determination, and team spirit that will inspire a future generation of swimmer at Bangkok Prep. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite the excellent coaches who have delivered, sorry, delivered an amazing provision to our students this year to present their award for their age group, please. Okay, our under 19 boys, most improved swimmer of the year, Roland. Our under 19 girls, most improved swimmer of the year, Mao. Under 19 boys, coaches swimmer of the year, Guy. 
And our under-19 girls, Coaches Swimmer of the Year, Chloe. Our under 15 boys, most improved player of the year. Oops, sorry. Under 15 most improved swimmer of the year, Matt. <laughs> under 15 girls, most improved swimmer of the year, Megan. <laughs> Our under 15 boys, coaches, swimmer of the year, Joshua. <laughs> and our under 15 girls, coaches, swimmer of the year, Fran. Our under 13 boys, most improved swimmer of the year, Artie. Our under 13 girls, most improved swimmer of the year, Pasta. Our under 13 boys, coaches, swimmer of the year, Poom. And our under 13 girls, coaches, swimmer of the year, Tara. to all of our swimmers. As Coach Arm outlined, the water polo really has got, gone from strength to strength, has got incredible numbers, um, and it really is lead, the leading program now in Bangkok. Moving on to our water polo awards. Our under 19s, most improved, boys, most improved player of the year, Filippo. <laughs> our under 19 girls, most improved player of the year, Nani. <laughs> our under 19 boys, coaches, player of the year, JL. <laughs> and our under 19 girls, coaches, player of the year, Un. Our under 15 boys, most impl improved player of the year, Tota. Our under 15 girls, most improved player of the year, Ness. Our under 15 boys, coaches player of the year, Son. And our under 15 girls, coaches player of the year, Megan.
Our under 13 boys, most improved player of the year, Javi. <laughs> Our under 13 girls, most improved player of the year, Sun. <laughs> Our under 13 boys, coaches, player of the year, Bright. And our under 13 girls, coaches, player of the year, BAM. <laughs> well done to all of our water polo players. Okay, moving on to triathlon. Our triathlon program, led by Coach Cap, has seen Bangkok Prep dominate local and regional events, with many qualifying for national races and some national representation. This is a testament to how the aquatics and athletics programs have integrated alongside the specialist coaching. Okay, on to our triathlon awards. The under 19 boys most improved triathlete of the year, Roland. Our under 19 boys coaches triathlete of the year, Guy. Our under 15 girls most improved triathlete of the year, Click. Our under 15 boys coaches triathlete of the year, James. Our under 15 girls coaches triathlete of the year, Mini. Our under 13 boys most improved triathlete of the year, Titi. Our under 13 girls, most improved triathlete of the year, Radar. Our under 13 boys, coaches, triathlete of the year, Poom. And our under 13 girls, coaches, triathletes of the year, Elizabeth. A huge well done to all of our triathletes. <laughs> the triathlete parents leaving their seats for photos. Okay, our next sport is tennis a sport strongly supported by the school and has recently developed the Tennis Academy to four courts.
And I would like to invite, um, introduce you to Coach Eight, Coach Oat, our head of tennis. Ladies and gentlemen, tennis associates, we gather here to celebrate the celebrate the remarkable achievements of our tennis program and its exceptional performance in various events. The BISA, BMAX, and 4BC tournaments have witnessed the sheer dedication, talents, and passion of our tennis players. It is with immense pride and joy that we acknowledge. This year has been a milestone of our tennis community marked by grand opening of our tennis academy with four courts. This state-of-the-art facility has not only provided us with a venue to nurture our athletes, but has also opened the door to a brighter future. Thank you, thank you to Kun Patrada for supporting us this um, development. None of this success would have been possible without the collaboration, the, sorry, the collaborative efforts of our PE team. <laughs> we are impressed by the overwhelming response, the participation. We have witnessed mornings, afternoons, and weekend training sections have been buzzing with boys and girls all age, of all ages coming together to pursue their love for tennis. Thank you and let us continue to serve Wally and celebrate the triumph of our tennis program. Thank you. Okay, if I could invite uh, Coach Pio to join out on the stage for presentations. Our under-19 boys, most improved player of the year, Kalpan. Our under-19 girls, most improved player of the year, Mo. Our under-19 boys, coaches, player of the year, Damien. And our under-19 girls, coaches, player of the year, Oon. Our under-15 boys, most improved player of the year, Ben. Our under-15 girls, most improved player of the year, Kao Jao. Our under-15 boys, coaches, player of the year, Matt. And around 15 girls, coaches, player of the year, Prow. <laughs> around 13 boys, most improved player of the year, Prize. <laughs> around 13 girls, most improved player of the year, Elena. Our under 13 boys, coaches, player of the year, Navin. And our under 13 girls, coaches, player of the year, Reno. Thank you, tennis players. Gymnastics is our next sport, and I would like to invite Coach Bass to the stage.
Good evening, parents, teachers, students, and coaches. I hope you're all having a great time. Okay. Uh, enjoy watching the sport award from, uh, in this amazing place. Okay. Uh, I am honored and I am very excited to be part of this event tonight. Um, I would like to let you know that the gymnastic program of Bangkok Prep uh, had a very positive year with many children doing regularly and continuing to develop their gymnastic program. Gymnastic is a sport that is growing very fast in Bangkok. Uh, the future seems to be a very bright and exciting one. This year, we attend five gymnastic competitions, which were for BCA Gymnastics, Bulldog Internal Gymnastics, Falcon Gymnastics, uh, Harrow Gymnastics, and BMAC Gymnastics. Uh, all, gymna on, all gymnasts on each level have done an amazing job and uh, have a incredible results. In each, in each competition and receive a lot of individual award and team awards. My message to all gymnasts, I just want to say thank you for your hard work, effort, and dedication. I'm very proud of our gymnasts, and I love your attitude and the work ethic that our team has been developing over the years. We have a lot of big things coming up next year, and I just want to say simply to continue to work hard, and enjoy the journey, whatever you end up attaining. This is the great sport that you will be able to play and enjoy many years to come. I know when we are back in action again, gymnastic will be on top of the game for sure. My message to uh, our gymnastic team captain, Hannah. Hannah, unfortunately, you will, uh, Hannah won't be with us um, next year. I would like to say thank you for the amazing thing that you have done for our school and your hard work and dedication will inspire the younger generation to continue to work hard to achieve their goal in this journey. And I wish you all the best of luck, and uh, I wish you all the best of luck, and remember always try to be your best. Uh, I want to say massive thank you to Coach Miu, Coach Pa, and Coach Ting uh, for all of your hard work to help our gymnasts. And I would like to say thank you to Mr. McFarlane uh, for helping us develop gymnastic, uh, gymnastic program. To all parents, I want to say thank you to parents who continue to support the gymnastic program. Without your support, our success would not have been possible. And thank you for your time and attention. It's time for the award, and I would like to invite our gymnastic coaches, which is uh, Coach Pai, Coach Mill, and Coach Ding, up to the stage to present the award, please. Okay, our most improved secondary gymnast of the year is Nania. And already spoken very highly of by Coach Bass, our Coach's Gymnast of the Year is Hannah. A very popular sport at Bangkok Prep is badminton, and I would like to invite Mr. Elliot Sheridan to the stage. First of all, I would like to start by congratulating all of our badminton squads this year. Um, from all the coaches, teachers in charge, 
the feedback on how all teams have conducted themselves uh, during fixtures and ECAs has been nothing but positive. Uh, with over 120 pupils playing badminton this year during ECAs and fixtures, um, stand out from any performances is the number of pupils that have been participating in the sport, which has created an unwavering unwa culture of commitment to the sport. What I'll do now is go through the individual uh, squads and make sure that we um, reward them for their amazing participation so far this year. So, firstly, under 13 boys. It's been a great uh, year for our under 13 boys who have competed excellently um, in all competitions and training sessions. It's been a pleasure to see each individual developing confidence and demonstrate positive changes to their technique. During recent competitions, the atmosphere, competitive nature and maturity they have all shown is a credit to the school. Please keep up the good work. Uh, under 13 girls next. The only thing to say in my northern accent is pure class. Okay? Um, that's the only phrase that springs to mind. Genuinely, myself and Miss McEwen have been amazed at the skill level of this group of players. Uh, from Soda's excellent on court, coupled with the grit and determination of Chom and Ness, the under-13 girls have dominated the entire single season. <clears throat> the cooperation and teamwork of our doubles players Somjai, Gunn, Radar, Era and Reno uh, have really shown how competitive this age group really is. Miss McEwen has been quoted as saying they make badminton look very easy. Okay? Uh, likewise, Mr. Weston does. I think they've got a tip from him. Um, I think this is the best compliment that you can really play, uh, pay um, a badminton player. If they make it look easy, it's really promising for the future uh, of badminton at our school. Keep up the amazing work for next year as well. On to our under-15s. It was clear from the start that this age group had the most competition for places. With around 20 players to select from, it made it difficult for our coaches to pick a team. This competition is reflective of the hard work and effort every player has put into badminton this year. Coach Hume and Miss Burke have spent long time in the P office deliberating on their squads for fixtures. This hard work is starting to show with incredible student numbers and talent on show at every badminton ECA. It's very positive for the future of under 15s badminton. Um, on to the under 19 boys squad now. I'd like to open with a comment from Mr. Fiddler, coach of the under 19 boys. He said, when you have players with commitment and talent like we do in under 19 badminton, the, re the team really does run itself. Uh, and he has shown that uh, from manage them from afar this year. Um, under 19 players in the year show, re uh, show that they can really compete with the best in the area, ensuring that they compete with a sense of class. I know for a fact Mr. Fiddler is already looking forward to the badminton season next year. Finally, on to the under-19 girls. The under-19 girls have showed excellent competitive nature during the badminton season. Miss McEwen has generally had a difficult time selecting players to represent school in fixtures. The difficult decision is testament to the skill level on show when the under-19 girls step onto court. Miss McEwen is quote, quoted as saying the girls have demonstrated their competitive nature in all fixtures this year, showing their commitment to prep badminton. To conclude, all members of the sports department are thrilled to see the participation and skill level of all badminton players increase throughout the year. We hope to see this competitive nature continue into the next badminton season and beyond. Finally, I would like to invite all the excellent co coaches who have delivered an amazing provision to our students this year to present their awards for the age groups. Okay, our under-19 boys, most improved player of the year, Nikki. Our under-19 girls, most improved player of the year, Snow. Our under-19 boys, coaches player of the year, Aki. And our under-19 girls, coaches player of the year, Ni. Nee. Our under-15 boys, most improved player of the year, Pup. Our under-15 girls, most improved player of the year, Ridder. Our under-15 boys, coaches player of the year, Alex. And our under-15 girls, coaches player of the year, Namsai. Our under-13 boys, most improved player of the year, Chul. 
Our under 13 girls, most improved player of the year, Ness. Our under 13 boys, coaches player of the year, Gemmo. And I have to agree, I've never seen anything like it on court. The under 13 girls, coaches player of the year, Soda. And next up, we have golf. saved by technology. <laughs> um, secondary golf has taken place through the vehicle of the International Schools Golf Tournament, the ISGT. And it has had an extraordinary year, providing students with unparalleled opportunities to showcase their talent on world-class golf courses. From the prestigious Thai Country Golf Club to the stunning Amata Springs and Chi Chan, our students have experienced the thrill of playing in truly remarkable settings. In addition to the ISGT calendar of events, our students have been privileged to participate in esteemed tournaments like the GAD Thailand Golf Championship and the, TG, and the TGA Singer Junior Golf Championships, where they have had the chance to earn world amateur ranking points. As a testament to their dedication and skill, one of our students even had the honor of competing in the renowned IMG Junior World Championship held in San Diego. Moving on to our awards for golf. The most improved golfer of the year, Tota. And the coaches golfer of the year, Boss. How embarrassing he can drive a ball further than me. <laughs> We've had a brilliant year for athletics and cross country at Bangkok Prep, and I would like to invite Mrs. Chloe McEwen to the stage. Okay, I am the last one, so I will try and be quick. Good evening, student athletes, parents, and my esteemed colleagues. I'm going to share with you some of the highlights from our athletics team this year. All the student athletes in the room have represented their respective houses on an extremely successful sports day this year, whereby, unfortunately, Soros were crowned champions. Throughout the PE lessons this year, our PE teachers and our PE TAs have provided high quality lessons to stretch and challenge all of our athletes. 
During these lessons, we equip our students with the knowledge and understanding of the techniques of each event and give generic, generic and individual feedback on how to improve over the three disciplines. It isn't easy to do athletics. The data from these lessons and the opportunity to perform in front of the whole school on sports day is where we select our top performing athletes to represent the Bulldogs at ISB. ISB hosts an athletics meet every year. Senior athletes compete on a Friday night under the floodlights. Our under 12 and under 14 teams compete on the Saturday. The facilities at ISB are phenomenal and a real privilege for our students to use and compete in. In Bangkok Prep's history, I've been here a long time, longer than some of the furniture, and this year we took our biggest teams ever at each age group. A big thank you to all the staff who had enabled and facilitate this event to happen. The Friday night is a very long night. Here are some of their highlights from that event. For the seniors, special mentions go to Michael for his high jump performance and performance in the sprinting events. KK from year 11 was electric on the track and exploded out of the blocks that evening. This was her first time using the blocks and made it look like a natural. Aaron showed his hard work from the GCSE PE lessons paying off in the 400 meter race, which is an extremely difficult to race to perform. If you haven't done it, come to Wednesday Running Club and I'll let you have a go. Alex excelled as always in the throwing and jumping events. And the 4x100 relays are always a fan favourite to watch, and our senior Bulldogs did not disappoint. On Saturday, our young Bulldogs took to the stage. Three out of the four teams managed to take a spot on the team podium. This year, the growing numbers and consistency of athletes at our running club on a Wednesday morning has enabled us to be even more competitive on the track this year. A highlight of those running clubs is breaking Mr. McFarlane on a Wednesday morning. I'm not sorry. <laughs> The highlight of the year was our under-12 boys taking the top podium, a very well-deserved and a credit to the boys and the PE teachers. The highlight, as always, with, for our whole department was the way our students conduct themselves for their togetherness and commitment. And it's my great honour and privilege to welcome my colleagues to the stage who helped coach on the day and teachers to give our students their awards this year. Okay, our under-19 boys, most improved athlete of the year, Michael. Our under-19 girls, most improved athlete of the year, KK. Our under-19 boys, coaches, coaches athlete of the year, Artin. Our under-19 girls, coaches athlete of the year, Charlotte Stonehouse. Our under 15 boys, most improved athlete of the year, Kid. Our under 15 girls, most improved athlete of the year, Charlie. Our under 15 boys, coaches athlete of the year, James. And our under 15 girls, coaches athlete of the year, Minnie. Our under 13 boys, most improved athlete of the year, Chul. Our under 13 girls, most improved athlete of the year, Pasta. Our under 13 boys, coaches athlete of the year, Javi. And our under 13 girls, coaches athlete of the year, Arabella. That brings our sports awards for team and individual sports to a close and leads us into a very quick break for a dessert. We will take a 15 minute break to enjoy dessert which you can access on each side of the room. Thank you for being a great audience. Enjoy your food and the entertainment provided by our student athletes. Hello. Okay, hi everyone, we come back again. So hope you guys enjoy the show.
So, the song we are about to sing is the last song for this evening. Hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed your dessert and the student athlete musicians. Can we yet again give them a round of applause? We now begin our final presentation of our awards for our Sports Person of the Year. All staff involved in the PE and sport program spent a lot of time considering the plethora of talented student athletes at Bangkok Prep. To ensure fairness and consistency, we use the criteria on the screen that are important to us as behaviours and attributes that contribute to a well-rounded, exceptional student athlete. As you walked in this evening, you will have had time to look at the seven nominated students and had an opportunity to vote for your sports person of the year. The votes have been counted and we will now present our award winners in reverse order, third, second, and first. However, first, however, first, can I ask to present the awards, Ms. Tia Court Smith, Mr. Duncan Stonehouse, and Compatrida to the stage. Okay, in third place for our Sports Person of the Year, 2022-23, we have Aki. In second place, the Sports Person of the Year, we have Vittorio. <laughs> and our winner, in first place of the Bangkok Prep, Sports Person of the Year Award is Charlotte. can we have a huge applause for our award winners and all seven nominees for being outstanding role models and student athletes at Bangkok Prep. I would like to invite our Head of Secondary Physical Education, Mr. Kyle Fiddler, to bring our Bangkok Prep Sports Awards to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, our distinguished guests, athletes, coaches, and all of our supporters. As we come to the end of this exhilarating event, I stand here before you with immense pride and gratitude. Tonight, we have witnessed the incredible talent, dedication, and sportsmanship 
of the students who make up the vibrant fabric of our international school. The Secondary Sports Awards have truly been a testament to the power of teamwork, resilience, and the pursuit of excellence. First and foremost, let us take a moment to express our deepest appreciation to our exceptional athletes. Your constant commitment to your respective sports has been nothing short of inspiring. You invested countless hours of practice, pushed your boundaries, and persevered through challenges. Each one of you has demonstrated the strength of character and the drive to reach for greatness. Your achievements, both on and off the field, deserve our heartfelt applause. Of course, behind every successful athlete, there are remarkable coaches who have played an instrumental role in shaping their journeys. To our dedicated coaches, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Your guidance, mentorship, and passion for your sports have really nurtured our athletes' skills, instilled them in the values of fair play and sportsmanship, and encouraged them to push beyond their limits. Your unwavering commitment to their growth has transformed them into exceptional individuals and strong team players. Beyond the athletes and coaches, we must recognize the immense support system that surrounds our sports programs. To the parents, families and friends who have stood by our athletes, cheering them on, sacrificing your time and providing untiring encouragement, we extend our sincerest thanks. Your presence and support has been a source of strength and motivation for our athletes throughout their sporting journeys and promises to continue that way. Tonight, as we celebrate the accomplishments of our athletes, let us reflect on the broader significance of sport in our lives. Sports have the power to unite people, transcend boundaries and build bridges between cultures. Through sport, we learn the importance of discipline, teamwork, and resilience. We discover our strengths and our areas of development, and we learn to value the contributions of others as well as ourselves. These valuable lessons will undoubtedly shape our athletes' futures, not just as athletes, but as responsible and compassionate athletes. As we conclude this memorable evening, let us carry the, the spirit of sportsmanship and camaraderie in our hearts. Let us continue to support and celebrate one another's achievements, both on and off any playing surface. Remember that the lessons learned through sport extend far beyond the boundaries of a game. They mold us into better versions of ourselves. To all the athletes, coaches, parents and supporters, thank you for making this night a resounding success. May your passion for sports continue to burn brightly, driving you to new heights. Let us strive for greatness, embrace the challenges that lie ahead of us, and inspire one another to achieve our dreams. Congratulations once again to all the deserving award recipients and every participant who made this event a really memorable one. It has been an honor to witness your remarkable talents and share the joy of your achievements. Thank you, and let us continue to shine as a united sporting community. Good night. Bangkok Prep community, it has been a wonderful night. One I hope stays with you as a standout memory throughout your life, but one which also inspires you to be even more ambitious and thrive next academic year. I wish you all a safe journey home. Good night. <laughs>